Cleaning house at Campbell University, literally and figuratively. Former housekeepers tell us they're suddenly out of jobs after the university outsourced their cleaning staff to an outside company. Kayla Strayer is getting answers live in Harnett County, and Kayla, so close to Christmas. Yeah, so the two women I talked with today, they spent nights working to clean this building every night. They say the plan was to help put their kids through college here. That all changed, though, right before Christmas. From birthday celebrations to a Waffle House lunch break, these co-workers shared a tight bond while working at Campbell University. Sarah Pitkin and Christine Borowski tell me that all suddenly changed during a staff meeting the week before Thanksgiving. It was just a big cluster. The 42-member cleaning staff were told they would no longer work for Campbell University. It's a struggle. Um, I plan to retire at Campbell. I, I really love my job there. From then on, they would work for CleanNet, the commercial cleaning company hired by the university to manage things. And give people a chance to ask questions and answer them honestly instead of just passing it off on to CleanNet. It was frustrating, a little angry because... Um, we weren't getting any answers. Both women say they worked for CleanNet a few weeks until they were suddenly fired this month. It really did suck that it was so close to the holidays and Christmas. As Sarah explained to her kids. And some decisions had to be made and that my job was cut. And Surprise, I'm going to be home now. The university emailed CBS 17 a statement saying the move was, quote, a strategic realignment of resources that will help maintain essential services. They say all 42 impacted housekeeping staff were offered employment by CleanNet. But these women say longtime dedicated employees are now without a job and without their benefits. They dedicated their life to, them, to Campbell. And to them, Campbell, they're just housekeepers, but to us, we kept things going. So Campbell University is telling me that they also extended their tuition benefits to all former employees and their dependents who are currently taking classes here. Meanwhile, the, uh, the cleaning company has not responded to my calls or emails. I will update the story if I hear back. Reporting live in Harnett County, Kayla Strayer, CBS 17 News. Tough situation. Thank you, Kayla.